Well, there's nothing quite like sight casting fish with a fly. And I don't think there's another fish that gives you such a challenge as a permit. And what we're doing, we're just cruising down the beach here. We're looking for a school of permit. And I think we've just spotted them out there. So we're gonna approach slowly. We're gonna get in the position and hopefully, hopefully we can get a shot and maybe get an eat. We'll see what happens. Well, there's a few times in fishing that I'm so nervous, but casting at a school of permit just gets me really, really nervous. It's not often that you get to do something like this, so you really have to try and make those shots count. I'm just gonna try and lightly put it in the middle of them, and I hope that one comes out and eats that floating crab. probably get out of the way. Not quite far enough. I don't want to spook them though. It's a pretty good shot. They're on the move. Got him, got him, got him, got him. That was amazing. I don't think there's anything cooler than catching a permit on fly, but I think catching one on a floating crab just about tops it off. And that is just spectacular. And one thing that I really learnt coming to Weeper and fishing for these fish is that they're big and they fight very, very hard. So I hope you're in a comfy chair, because we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> it's such a nervous, I think one of the nervous, most nervous times of my life, <laughs> hooked up to a permit, because I reckon it would be one of the few fish that every fly fisherman knows exactly how many they've either hooked or they've landed. They're just that elusive, they're that special. And I just hope that, you know, this all comes together and we get to have a look at this fish. They are just a very special creature. There's an anchor on the beach. It's random. It's so amazing up here. They, um, there's a sign where we launch at Mapoon and it talks about all the rubbish that's washed ashore from Indonesia. And there's something like uh, 12,900 thongs that wash up on the beach each year, which is just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to think there's that much rubbish that washed through the ocean. And it's, you know, it's really sad, but actually when you go for a walk along the beach, it's kind of cool because you're looking at all these bits and pieces that have traveled a very long way. So for any of our international watchers, a thong is a flip-flop or a jandal, depends on where you come from. But, you know, 12,900, that's a lot of thongs, flip-flops, jandals, whatever you want to call them. Oh my God, that is just so cool. So when you're chasing fish like this, that are really hard to catch, they take a long time to find, they don't often eat, you need to use the best quality gear you can. And I cannot stress 
enough that your drag on your reel needs to be super smooth because the last thing you want to do especially if the fish is lightly hooked is pull the hooks because your drag's sticky so you know buy the best thing you can afford because it'll really pay off when something like this happens So I see it so much when we're competition fishing. I do loads and loads of competition fly fishing. And when the fishing's really hard, like it is for permit, people panic when they hook the fish. And I actually think that's the hardest part. And once you've got the fish on, like it's totally up to you just to not panic. You've, you've done all the hard work to get the eat. And now, you know, you just need to be patient, keep that line tight and all going well you'll get the fish in the net. But we're a long way from there yet, so I'm just gonna keep at it. The only thing that is not in your control is being sharked, and I just hate to think about how tasty permits are, but it's always a possibility, and you know, if that happens, well, that happens, but just try and get it in as quickly as possible. I'm happy, I think I've survived the worst part. And as you can see, I've got the remote for my electric on my hip, and I just couldn't think of anything worse than fishing Weeper without an electric motor because you can sneak up to the fish. You know, if, you're, if you happen to be doing this by yourself, you can control the boat, you can chase the fish, you can put yourself in the best position to get the best shot. And, you know, there's nothing better than an electric motor. As I've said at heaps of times, I'd much rather have an electric motor than a petrol motor any day of the week. Really critical time of the fight. We're right up in shallow. I'm just gonna put the boat on spot lock and get out. And that way I can beach this fish, hopefully. All going well. And just walk the dog, just walk him in. So many emotions with these fish. I love them. I absolutely hate them. They make me sick because it's so stressful at this point in the fight that I just want to get in and get a look at the fish. But he's still a little way away. I just keep working my way along. Now, not that I've been watching my clock, but I think it's been about 40 minutes since I've been hooked up to this fish. And that's on a nine weight, going pretty hard. They are just an absolute powerhouse of a fish. They are beautiful, they're so cunning, and then they fight so hard. All right, dude, come on. In you come. Just get him on his side. Yes! <laughs> oh my God. I got a pan <laughs> Oh, What a beautiful creature. Have a look at this. Beautiful North Queensland permit on the flats on a floating crab nonetheless. That's just the most spectacular thing. They are just an amazing creature. Beautiful big sickle fins, and they've got a massive eye. They can see everything what's going on. And they are just an amazing fish. How good is that? 
What a beautiful creature. That is just amazing. As you can see, crab perfectly in his lip. And I think, you know, anything on top water is just the absolute pinnacle, especially when you're sight fishing. This fish is ready to go. I'll take one last look at him. We'll send him on his way. Thank you so much for eating that crab, buddy. I think as a fly fisherman, nothing really compares for that, to that. And you know, I'm 49 hours from home, um, a long way up the coast. And they sort of say, you know, the old saying about do the miles, get the smiles. And that cannot be more true, but to be able to land a permit on fly, sight cast on top water, I'm happy to go anywhere because that was just, just the best.